Hey, buddy. Good morning. Um, at least it's morning right now, right here. Uh, I it's Friday. I just woke up. I'm tired, and it's hard to form words right after I woke up. Um, I have my janky microphone here again, just to hopefully improve the audio quality because. I realized that if I use the, like, not the flip camera, um, the real camera on my phone, picture quality is a lot better. So, yeah, I have made some coffee. This is my, I don't know how everything works on the camera, but this is my dinosaur, dinosaur mug that I use pretty much every single day. Um, I really, it's, I went to Dinosaur Coffee in LA once and got this mug because I just really loved loved the design of it um and the reason why i use it every day is because the taste it just tastes good for a to-go mug um you know sometimes to-go mugs have like a metallic-y kind of taste this always just tastes good um it keeps my coffee warm for much longer than a normal mug would so it's the end of the week last weekday of the of 2023 which is intimidating I think because you know you hear new year and you think like gotta get to it gotta do things gotta start accomplishing um when because of the breast cancer stuff if you're new here I have breast cancer so that's I guess that's all the introduction you need on that um because of the breast cancer stuff it's I don't know how I can move forward I don't know what's next I don't know if this is gonna last till February or October so yeah, but anyway, this morning I think I'm going to continue making my bracelets. Today my overall goal is to make more of like a plan for my art business. So I found out how much inventory I need to make, which I can maybe show you later, how I kind of worked through that math equation. And I need to make a plan as to like a roadmap pretty much, just what am I gonna make when, and kind of plan my days, order supplies, so I can make punch needle, for example, much more effectively than just I would in a tiny frame. So like right now, it doesn't make sense for me to do punch needle for business purposes, because I'm gonna move super slowly just using a teeny tiny little frame, versus if I get a big frame, I can make six or eight at once. Um, and that'll be a lot more effective from a time perspective. So I'm thinking about these things, now that I'm doing things from a business perspective, you can still do punch needle as a hobby right now, but I think from a business, I need the supplies to make it more effective. So I need to figure out, you know, what kind of yarn do I want for to use, which I think cotton. Um, what color palette do I want and to get those materials? Do I want to get my materials from a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, where I can just, if I run out, I can get it the same day? Or do I want to maybe order something higher quality from the internet, but if I run out, I have to wait, so. Things that I'm going to think about today, um, I have a GoPro, which is probably a little better than my phone camera, that I'm going to charge. I need to get a new SD card, so I will do that to hopefully improve this video quality. Um, what else do I need to do today? I'm sure there are other things, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the bracelets I made yesterday, just because it's fun. Um, so this is the Mindfulness Collection. And the idea behind this collection is just, just little words and phrases that will remind you to be more mindful in your life, to make life a little easier on yourself, and to get more out of life. So, I see YouTubers do this a lot. They go like this. Um, this one is called Pause, and I kind of did the beads how I did it because there's kind of like a pause in between every bead. So, there's some thought and intention there. So, it's Pause. This one is called breathe. Well, obviously it's called breathe. It says breathe. Um, and I kind of like organize the beads kind of like an exhale. So it kind of looks like you're taking a breath and hopefully it has a calming effect when you see it on your wrist. Let's breathe. These are just three of them. I made eight in total. 
And then this one is called Balance. And the thought behind this design is all of the beads are between a contrasting bead. So it's kind of a balanced design. So yeah, I have many more. I, today I, I have three of the eight designs. I need five of the eight designs. So I have 16 bracelets to make. So that'll also be in my kind of to-do list for the day. So yeah, let's get to it. Voiceover Slater popping in here because I forgot to introduce myself like a total noob. I guess I am a noob. Um, this is my second YouTube video. So if you're new here, I'm new here too. Uh, and who am I? I'm Slater. I am an artist, cat mom, crafter, writer, and a business owner. And uh, this YouTube channel is me cataloging my journey making an art business from the ground up and also my journey fighting breast cancer at 29. So if you like, you know, silliness and art and crafting and I don't know, I think I'm pretty normal, but um, just chatting along with me, uh, hopefully these videos are for you. Now I'll make some bracelets. It's a really pretty day out actually, which is strange that it's this sunny and there's no snow in December, almost January. That's Wisconsin 2023 for you. I finally finished recording, editing, figuring out how to use Descript, uh, my very first YouTube video and I am about to hit publish, which is pretty nerve-wracking. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because this is more personal than anything else. You know, in my other business, I talk about writing and design, which is not about me. You know, it's about something else versus this is 10 minutes of me talking about me, which is, you know, very vulnerable. So I made this thumbnail. I tried to make it cute, tried to take a quick photo, but yeah, it's a learning process. It won't be perfect the first time. So I'm gonna hit publish. Ready. One. Oh, I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> I, just, I just gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay. One, two. Any typos? No. Okay. One, two, three. Publish. And it's live! Well, that, that's weird. Nerve wracking. Okay. It's about. 3 p.m. and I am headed to Joanne, um, or Joanne's, I, I honestly don't know. But I'm going to look for cotton yarn so I can build my punch needle color palette. So my idea is for this whole business thing, like I'm building a world, um, and so I want my colors to be consistent and I want to use specific colors. I come from like the design world and design system is kind of a common term there. So I'm building my own design system in which means I have colors that I'll consistently use. So I look like a brand or a product or, you know, I look like I have my things together. So, I'm gonna go to Joanne, look at some cotton yarn, see what I find. Oh, I need to be my punch needle. So I'm gonna run back inside, get my punch needle, and then drive to Joanne. So yeah, let's go. Well, I hope I'm, maybe that's good. Okay, well, I hope I'm in the frame. If not, we are recording this a second time. Um, so today was kind of stressful, I guess. I, why was it stressful? Um, I think, so 
putting together my first YouTube video was actually very stressful. I think, well, well I'll caveat. One of the more work intensive things I've done since being diagnosed with breast cancer because I've been doing more relaxy stuff because, you know, between appointments and that, the appointments have been a lot of stress, but I haven't really like learned anything new or, you know, done anything in the, from the productive perspective. So the YouTube video, I was kind of like exhausted after figuring that out, but it's out there, which is weird and uncomfortable and crazy. Like, one person other than me and my husband have viewed it so that's pretty cool whoever the one person out there is so yeah between making the youtube video going to joanne and then being sold out of cotton yarn and then going to michael's and them having not great options but hey i got a bunch of stuff for two dollars so i won't argue with that um and then this evening i just finished this little lady i don't know if you can see it you can't see it very well. I can't put my hand behind it. Um, if you can't see it very well, I'll figure out how to show you somehow. I don't know. I'm learning these YouTube stuff. Um, so I was doing this and it's taking longer than I expected it to take because I mentioned in my last video the kind of economics of doing an art and craft business is you have to make sure your products give you a good effective hourly rate. You need that effective hourly rate to make a, the living you want to live. And so a mug rug, mug rug, I'm doing this for fun, by the way. This is not like a product that I'm going to put in my line or anything, but I'm still going to sell mug rugs. But if it takes me an hour to make a mug rug, that's $20 an hour. Um, but this was taking me longer, um, which I'm using a smaller punch needle and different yarn and this kind of checkerboard pattern took a lot longer too because I had to keep changing um, where I am because I couldn't just continuously go between this box to this box to this box. So because of that, excuse me, because of that, it took me longer. So I had learning there, which is really cool, simple designs where I don't have to switch, you keep cutting the yarn, it might be a lot more effective. But then I kind of got some imposter syndrome in my head going on like, what if I can't make this work? What if it's not economically viable? What if, you know, this stuff can't sell, my effective hourly rate is not what it needs to be to make a good living, to live a happy life, to accomplish the things I want to accomplish. Um, and so I started backtracking from, you know, well, what else could I do? I could, you know, do the other kind of businesses I used to do or do currently do. Um, I get a full-time job and I'm finding all of these alternate paths when it took me a second to realize I'm just feeling imposter syndrome. I'm just feeling like I don't have it figured out and I don't know if it's possible because I'm scared and I'm nervous and those are bad reasons to do something else and I think that's probably what gets in the way of consistency is feeling scared, feeling imposter syndrome, feeling like something's too hard or just unknown. So I'm gonna fight the imposter syndrome as best I can. I will keep doing the YouTube. I am a YouTuber. Weird to say, I am a YouTuber. Like, I have two cats that are fighting. Um, and so, yeah, it's been overall a good day. Progress, nonetheless. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and like, I don't know, me, um, and what I have to talk about and want to hear more about me grow my art business and my journey with breast cancer and my cats making random noises. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and yeah, I'll talk to you soon.